What is up guys? Welcome to the Big Unbox where we do that small tech and today I am back with another big unboxing for you for the OnePlus 6 and today we're back with a temper glass screen protector from Rhino Shield to unbox, do a quick review. We'll try to do the installation on video as well. I'll throw up the link in the video description. Pricing, I think I got this off their website at $24.99 so it's a little steep. Really, it's probably a lot steep. So we'll see if it's going to be a hit or miss because there's quite a few different good options. I can say that finally for the OnePlus brand. There's quite a few different good options for tempered glass screen protectors where the, the 5 and the 5T had really, really slim slim options in terms of a good tempered glass screen protector. So I'm not really sure if it's going to be full adhesive. It says it's got that black borders to it. But we'll check it out ourselves and see if it's a hit or miss. I also got some other... Rhino Shield products on the way. Actually, I already got them here. We're just going to do the unboxings and review a little bit later on, and uh, we'll see if those are hits or mitts as well. All right, so presentation looks premium enough. You actually got a nice presentation. Tempered glass screen protector, 9H hardness. It's going to tell you a little more details about the 3D curved screen protection. It tells you OnePlus 6 Rhino Shield. It's got a nice weight to it. Presentation does look pretty premium, which you'd expect for that price of that price of 25 bucks, 3D curved edge, and tells you the more scratch resistant, which they all say in water and oil repellency, high transparency, 99% clear. Okay, let's get to the unboxing, guys, and check this out. I've been waiting for this one for a little while. I had it on pre-order probably since maybe end of June, and I finally got it. So I'm excited to get this to you guys and see if it is a hit or miss, along with the rest of the um the Rhino Shield products that are available. I uh, do like the presentation. It's going to tell you right there how to actually do. It's going to have, yeah, do have some videos you can watch. So I'd recommend doing that. Don't trust me for this stuff because I just basically go with it. So you can check out their website and it's got some tutorials on the installation videos. So that's pretty nice right there. It's also going to give you some details right there how to apply it. But we're just going to go with it because that's how we do it. And uh, a lot of times I make mistakes, but don't hold that against me. So it does look like this is going to be full adhesive. Nice, it's got a nice weight to it. We'll check that out in a second. I wasn't sure what to expect with that, but I think it's going to be full adhesive. The black border is a little bit much on the bottom, and yeah, it's got a little thickness, little thickness on the sides as well. So we'll try to see if that affects any type of viewing angles. And you got your dust removal sticker right there. Keep that around, and then a microfiber cloth. One thing I would have liked them to include was like a wet wipe to do the initial clean down. Looks like that's all you're going to get. So that price point, I like to see a little bit more unless I'm missing it. Let's check it out. Man, I might be missing it. I think that's it, though. Okay. All right. So I'm currently rocking this. I don't even know what. It might be one of the poetic ones that I received along with the poetic cases. And it's not too bad. So you're, here's what you're going to get. Let's check, compare the two. Very similar cutout. You can see the thickness is very close. I think this is a little bit thicker on the side. What do you guys think? It's a little bit thicker. Even the bottom black part's a little thicker as well. So it definitely feels a little more heavy duty, but I'm just a little bit leery about that. I hope it doesn't cut into the actual viewing angles. Again, we'll check that out. Make sure it doesn't though, guys. Let's give it a quick wipe down. So since I don't have the wet, I got a wet wipe around, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do the video as if you guys were doing it because you guys, if they're not throwing it with it, you can't really, you know, you can try to make do, but It'd be nice if they thrown that in there. So we're just going to make do with it. Without it, I should say. Give it a quick wipe down. Edge to edge, wipe down. Get all those cracks, wipe down. Do it in front of some direct lighting. That's my main, main, main thing. Lighting is key because you never know when a little piece of hair, little piece of dust is going to get in there. And if you got some direct lighting, it's going to be on there first. That's really nice. So what I want to do is take the... Right, this is going to be a dust removal sticker a big one let's go pop it out like that so we take this what this does is it's a nice clean gives it one a onesie over and it'll get off all the actual remaining dust and it is a nice dust removal sticker looks pretty good all right let's do it looks pretty decent and then what you want to do is kind of get a game plan going on guys see that notch up top which of course you know the notch that's kind of how i use the my finger to guide the installation is based upon that front facing speaker that front facing camera and obviously the notch 
and then use my fingers to kind of line up the sides as well. So that's kind of what I do is to get a game plan going on first. Oh, I'm going to do the installation. And then you kind of want to do it as quickly as possible. because You obviously don't want to risk getting any type of uh, hairs, dust particles inside of it. So put it on like this. Let's. And I'm trying to line up the notch part just right. Hopefully not affect any type of viewing angles. Make sure it's lined up. See the top part's really, it's kind of tough with that black part around the notch as well to get make sure it's lined up just right. So it's important. You take your time. Again, use your fingers around the sides to, as a guide tool. And you can see the adhesive is adhering. It's full adhesive. Easy access, no issues at all. Went on pretty smoothly. Let me give it a quick wipe down. And you might have a couple more little bubbles that you can get out. It actually went on pretty smooth without too many bubbles. Got a little bit of bubbles up top, but that's pretty much it. A couple more right here. Let me do this, guys. I'm going to clean it up just a little bit, finish with those bubbles, and then we'll get back. We'll finish the review. We'll check out that black border. We'll check out the transparency, all that good stuff. Hold tight, guys. Be right. guys. Welcome back. So we got the screen protector put on. I got to say the installation was super easy, so they did a nice job with the actual quality of it. You can see... You can just tell how easy it went on without any type of bubbles and how smoothly it went on. So with that, I would definitely give it some praise to there. Um, I was able to get, like I said, I only had a couple little bubbles still hanging around. For the most part, it's really clean from the get-go. It's got this natural feel to it. Definitely feels premium, which you'd expect. It actually feels like the natural screen. So And it doesn't have any type of air gap or anything like that. So when I say air gap, it's, it's full adhesive. So it's got edge-to-edge -edge adhesive. So there's not going to be any type of that rainbow effect in the middle. You're not going to have any type of micro dots or anything like that. So this is going to be full edge to edge protection and it's going to feel natural to the touch, which is very important to me and probably a lot of you guys. You can see the extra edge to edge right there, how it cuts off the very end. Very, I mean, it looks so perfectly fit that they did a nice job with the, just the fine details of getting the fit just right. So you can see even around try to get that into focus there you can see even around the notch they did a great job with, with the how natural it looks so it looks like you're not even using a tempered glass screen protector at all now let's check this out now one thing i was concerned about was and it does it cuts in just a little bit you see how that just and it's ever so slightly it cuts into the the top part of the notch you can see right let me try to get this in focus Try to get this on focus for you guys. So right there, you see that 70%? How it just kind of cuts right there into the 70%, which is a little bit disappointing. So really, it's just a little short. The black does, in my opinion, cut off a little bit of the screen. So that's gonna drive you nuts. I would probably put a pass on this one because you can see where it just goes in a little bit too much. I think they could have brought that out just a little bit and made it perfect because it's a definitely nice fit but it does cut into just a little bit of the top part not not crazy you have to be really looking at it from an angle right there you can kind of see it cut off that that percentage right there it's not not crazy bad it's not like the original one plus five one but it's definitely kind of annoying in terms of because this thing is a really nice quality product so that's kind of annoying that they couldn't get that just right especially with all the time they had to prepare for this it, it is a nice quality tempered glass screen protector i will rock it I'm not, i don't think i'll have any issues with it but i know there are some people that do have issues with that so it's a little bit short i'm not gonna lie just a little bit so let's go and check out let's see oh we got there let's check out the case see if it's compatible so this is the solid suit case from Rhino Shield. So you would expect Rhino Shield to have their own products, everything being compatible. Let's check it out. Give me a quick wipe down. Wipe it down, wipe it down. That's beautiful. Look at that. That is nice. So you're rocking. You got some nice protection. This Rhino Shield carbon fiber look. And it's actually some lights protection all the way around. So you got some kind of heavy duty protection. You got some nice lip coverage edge to edge you can see that lip popping through look at that very nicely done so you're rocking a tempered glass screen protector let me squeeze it no issues at all with compatibility so this is definitely compatible which you would expect you can drop that and i think you're good to go because you got so much protection that is some nice layered tempered glass screen protector and then plus you got a nice case around it as well that's going to give you some nice protection so is this a hit or miss Whew, that's a tough one 
The pricing is definitely not a hit. I like the fit. It, the quality is a hit. But if they would have just messed, if they would have messed up these black borders, and made them too thick, if they would have tightened those up just a little bit. I'd say it's a big hit because I like, love the way it feels, and it just fits, seemed to fit perfectly, especially with the Rhino Shield product right here, at least the solid suit. So we'll say it's a mini hit. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section. You think it's a hit? You think it's a miss? Let me know what you guys think. Hit the subscribe button. We'll see you guys next time.